On day one, I spawned in as a young Thor. I was on the balcony of the royal capital, in Asgard itself. As an Asgardian god of thunder, I had a crazy amount of hearts. Wow, I'm strong right off the bat. When checking my surroundings, I noticed my brother Loki talking to my father Odin. Come here, Thor, and join your brother. I have gifts for you. Ooh, what is it? As you boys know, you are not normal children. You are gods among men. As such, a god must wield a powerful weapon. What did you get us, father? For you, Loki, I believe two swift daggers are in order. With them, you can eliminate any foe quickly and quietly. Thor, I have this. A hammer? Not just any hammer. Mjolnir, forged from a dying star. Cool! Wait, aren't these a little unsafe to give the children? You are gods! Now go play, my children, and stay out of trouble. With that, Loki and I began to explore our beautiful home of Asgard. We ran to the end of the Rainbow Bridge to get a full scope of the city. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Whenever I grow up, I'm gonna rule these lands. Nuh uh, I am Loki, ruler of Asgard. That's not true. Yes, it is. No! Yes! We continued to argue all night about it, but that was normal. We're brothers after all. On day two, Loki and I continued to explore Asgard in all of its beauty. Wow, this place is so cool! It is, but I'm thinking it could use a little mischief. What do you have in mind? Hmm, let's go mess with that frost giant. I don't know. Come on, where's your sense of fun, brother? Uh, okay. We went down to the prison cells to say something cheeky to him. Hey you, how's the weather up there? That's incredibly offensive. Yes, right, like Frosty the Snowman can get offended. Just then, the frost giant snapped, busting out of his cell and attacking us. He charged at us and began to beat us down with his massive fists. We had no choice but to fight back. We took out our weapons and began to go at the giant. Cut it out, man! We're literally little kids! You shouldn't be doing this! Frost giant children know their manners and are punished for acting out of line. Frost giants are dumb. The battle raged on, but neither of us showed any signs of letting up. Just as we were about to make our final strike, Odin appeared. What is going on down here? Could have gotten yourself killed. But you said it, Dad. We're gods. We can do whatever we want. I did not say that. I won't stand for this disrespect. I've kicked people out for less. On day three, I woke up and realized I was now a teenager. As a teen, I had 15 hearts and felt even stronger than before. Whoa, this is sweet. I decided to take another stroll through Asgard to flaunt some of my new strength. However, while I walked, I saw that Loki was now a teenager too. Hey, you're a teen now too. Isn't this cool? Yes, it is. We should celebrate. What did you have in mind? Just a little prank. The two of us took the flint and steel and approached a nearby home. Okay, time for a little fire. Just like that, Loki lit a single block ablaze. What's the plan now? We wait until the poor sod realizes that their house is on fire. Then we put it out. Unfortunately for us, Asgardian homes were incredibly flammable. The house burst into flames, putting the entire neighborhood at risk of burning. What do we do? I'll tell you what we're not doing, yelling father. What were you thinking? We weren't thinking. We're sorry. You boys won't listen to reason. I have no choice. You're both banished from Asgard. Banished? But- This isn't up for discussion. Hand over your weapons. We did as we were told and headed through the Bifrost, sending Loki and I into a whole new world. I'm gonna die here. On days four through eight, I was in the overworld all alone and left completely without resources. This stinks, but I guess I should gather what I need to survive. I started by punching down some trees and used that wood to make a crafting bench and a wooden pickaxe. Next, I added to the mines and gathered up plenty of cobblestone, which I used to upgrade to stone tools. Now that I had a stone axe, I continued chopping down trees, getting even more wood than before. That's enough gathering for now. I better build some shelter. I searched until I finally found an open field perfect for building. There I used my wood and cobblestone stone to create a basic house. Pretty solid start. All that work got me hungry, so I killed some sheep for their meat and wool, which I used to make a bed. Finally, I cooked up some mutton for dinner and enjoyed it in my new little house. As much as I liked what I had made for myself, I couldn't help but miss Asgard. I wonder where Loki is. On days 9 through 12, I woke up to find Heimdall waiting at my door. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be guarding the Bifrost? Oh, Ari, you have to come back to Asgard. What? I just got kicked out. Just trust me. I left and followed Heimdall, who led me back to Asgard. However, when I arrived, the entire city was in disarray. Who caused all this? From the flames, a strange woman approached me. Hello, 
brother. Do you mean brother like sub brother or are we straight up related? Second one. Anyways, Asgard will be no more very soon. Impossible! Our father won't let this happen! Our father is currently dying in his throne room. I felt my heart drop into my stomach. I didn't have a moment to waste. I rushed to the throne room to find him badly injured. Father! Thor, oh, I'm sorry I banished you. There isn't much time. Take me Olnir and rebuild Asgard. Before I could respond, my father died in my arms. No! I couldn't let my father down or the people of Asgard. I ran outside to see if there was anyone I could help save. During my patrol, I heard Heimdall call to me. It's too late to save the realm, but I'll send as many Asgardians to the overworld as I can. Good luck, Heimdall. Same to you, Thor. I went through the Bifrost, unsure of what the future of my people held. On days 13 through 15, I returned to the overworld and transformed into an adult. I now had 30 hearts and even more strength. The power of Mjolnir is mine once more. I will not waste it. I vow to rebuild Asgard to its former glory for my family. I started by expanding onto my house, adding additional rooms, including a chest room. It's not Asgardy enough. It's missing something. I set up to the mines and found some coal, iron, and heaps of gold. I quickly smelted the iron ore into ingots and crafted an iron pickaxe. I then used it to mine all the gold ore I needed. I returned back to my home and retouched the house with my new gold blocks. It'll work for now. With my upgrades completed, I ventured out in search of more materials and potentially some Asgardians I could offer refuge. On days 16 through 19, I flew around exploring the overworld until I came across a village being attacked by a monster. I quickly landed to see what was going on. Asgard was the first to fall, but won't be the last. <laughs> this must be Hela's doing. I gotta stop this. I rushed in to fight the beast. He was no match for my godly abilities. I thought all the Asgardians were dead. No matter, just another to exterminate. Not today, foul monster. Our fight continued. I admit, he was stronger than I expected him to be. Each of his hits would do a surprising amount of damage towards me. Luckily, with Mjolnir, I could fly, which I used to my advantage when I needed to heal up. I also used my lightning abilities, which hurt the monster badly. After a fierce battle, the monster fell, leaving me victorious. The villagers of the town started cheering for me, thanking me over and over again. Hello, great hero. Would you be so kind as to join us for a feast? It would be an honor. Food? I'm starving! Very good. Follow me. <laughs> this is delicious! I need more! <laughs> Dude, he's eating all of our food. Shh! He saved our butts. It's the least we can do. Another! <laughs> a feast for the ages! On days 20 through 23, I continued to search for materials I could use to expand my home. While chopping down a tree for some wood, I heard some rummaging nearby. What's that noise? I began looting around to find the source of the noise until finally I came across an animal looting someone's belongings. Excuse me, rabbit. Does that belong to you? Huh? Who are you? I am Thor Odinson, god of thunder and mightiest warrior of Asgard. Well, what's left of it? God of thunder, huh? How about you whip up some lightning and give my tracker a truck? Ah! Hey! Not on me, you idiot! I, I meant... Hey, that actually worked. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, but don't do it again. What do you seek, Rabbit? The name's Rocket. I'm looking for my friends. We call ourselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. We got split up because of some unforeseen circumstances. I then asked Rocket if he'd be down to join my cons. I could use a partner. What's in it for me? I'll help you find your friends if you help me find mine. Mm. Deal, but not looking like that. Take this. Rocket gave me a new suit, which gave me armor protection. <laughs> not bad, Rabbit. Thank you. With the deal made, we set off back to my home base. On days 24 through 27, with Rocket's help, I started expanding the base. We added a second layer to the house, making it much bigger. Next, we built a sizable farm. Soon, as guardians would populate the town, and they would need a reliable source of food. After wrapping up, Rocket had a favor to ask. So Thor, I was wondering if you could do me a favor. I'm kind of wanted by a shady mafia. Shady who? You know, mafia, the bad guys. Come on. Gotcha. Where do I find this mafia man? Rocket then dropped me a map to the place. Make sure you take out the green suited guy. He's big trouble. Rabbit, what did you do? What? Nothing. I just took his doormat is all. No biggie. He don't need it. All right. I'll do this for you. Make sure if any Asgardians come by to welcome them with open arms. 
Yeah, yeah, sure, all right, just get out of here. With that, I promptly left New Asgard. Using the map, I flew towards the location. After quite a bit of flying, I found a town with my brother Loki running it. On days 28 through 31, I tried to approach Loki, but I was quickly stopped in my tracks by one of his goons. Whoa, 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 what do you think you're doing? I'm here to see my brother. Loki? Ha, that's hilarious. You're toast, kid. The goons lunged at me and began attacking me. I took out Mjolnir and began to strike them with the power of thunder, but they were tougher than they looked. They were highly skilled swordsmen and dealt a good amount of damage whenever they landed a hit. Luckily, Loki came in to break up the battle. Brother, you finally made it. What a surprise. What are you doing? How long have you been here? I run this town. The people here love me. Well, that's cool, but can you come home and help me rebuild Asgard? It's been destroyed. No can do, brother. What? Asgard is dead, along with everyone that we knew and loved. We have to rebuild. I love ruling these people myself. I don't need you. What about Hela? We need to stop her. She could come here next. If she does, she'll feel the wrath of the most powerful god in the universe. Me, Loki. Fine. Stay here and have your fun. Also, stay away from Rabbit. He's my friend. Your friends with a rabbit? <laughs> Just to stay out of my way, brother. Frustrated, I stormed out of the village. On days 32 through 35, I was traveling back home when I was suddenly stopped by a group of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. We need to ask you some questions. What brings you to the overworld? What are your motives? What? Step aside. I have done nothing wrong. Freeze. I ignored them, and they began to send heavy fire at me. However, their bullets were completely ineffective. I was a god after all. Calling reinforcements. More soldiers were summoned and stormed in to try and subdue me. They tried to overpower me with brute strength, but unfortunately for them, I could easily overpower them. Please, this won't get anywhere for you. The soldiers kept coming, and I was about to fly away when a strange man with an eye patch emerged. Stand down, man. What do you guys want from me? I'm Nick Fury. I'm trying to gather Earth's mightiest heroes to form a team, and I thought you'd fit right in. Sorry, I have bigger things to take care of right now. I understand, but if you ever change your mind, give us a call. On days 36 through 39, I finally returned home to find some Asgardians waiting for me in the front of my house. Are you the son of Odin? We heard we can take refuge here. Welcome to New Asgard. I'll build you a home as quickly as I can. I got to work and constructed a home complete with everything an Asgardian needed to live in luxury. Thank you, Thor. Please take this golden goose egg. I'm always happy to help. Later that day, Rocket approached me. Hey, dude, did you kill Loki? Nah, he's my brother. But I did get the bounty removed from you. Brother, huh? Well, good enough for me. Things were settled in New Asgard, so I went mining for some more materials. I gathered tons of cobblestone so I could use it to further expand Asgard. I also came upon a good bit of iron, which would prove useful in upgrading my armor. After a lot of mining, I finally found a bit of diamond, an ore fit for a god. After a successful mining trip, I decided to get some shut-eye. On day 40, I had a horrible nightmare. I was once again in Asgard, as it burned all around me. I felt as if all of my power had been drained from me as I watched her bury my home in flames. <laughs> I have to stop this. I flew up to the top of the royal capital, where I found my dad. Dad! I hope you know how much of a disappointment you are. No, stop. If you were strong enough, you could have stopped her. Please, I... Save our people, son. I jolted awake in a cold sweat. I have to stop Hela and rebuild Asgard. On days 41 through 45, I had a hard time thinking straight after my nightmare. I felt like a failure for my dad and my people. If only I was strong enough. Just then, I bumped into someone by accident. Hello, sorry, didn't see you there. The masked stranger took out a blaster and fired at me on all cylinders. I thought the bullets would be pathetic, but any hit from his blaster packed a punch. I took to the skies to avoid his attacks and struck down lightning onto him. Whenever I got the chance, I came in close to deal massive damage. Okay, okay, I yield. I yield. I'm Thor. What brings you to this area? I'm Star-Lord, looking for a friend of mine. He's a raccoon-looking guy. Have you seen him? Unfortunately, I haven't. I do have a new rabbit friend, though. He might be able to help you. And lead the way. I took Star-Lord back to New Asgard and introduced him to Rabbit. Rabbit, I'd like you to meet... Will! Oh, thank God, man. You're still in one piece. Yeah, with no thanks to you. Okay, okay, that Nova TNT was a little more powerful than I thought it'd be. A little more powerful? You blew up a freighter. Regardless, it's good to see you okay, Quill. 
You too, man. I decided to build a place for Star-Lord to stay since he seemed to be hanging around for a while. It wasn't much, but it was a start. Hope this works. It's all right, but definitely give it more flair later. Once I finished, I remembered I had a few diamonds from a few days earlier, so I crafted them into some boots. Not too bad. On days 46 through 49, Star-Lord came up to me to give me a mission. I need help saving our buddy Groot. Hela sent some of her minions to capture him. Any enemy of Hela is a friend of mine. I accept. Great. He looks like a tree, so you can't miss him. Good luck. I then set off towards the location to find Groot. I knew I was close when I spotted a group of her minions with a captured tree creature. Hey, release that tree at once. Once they spotted me, they rushed into attack, and I did the same. They were able to fly, but luckily, so was I. I struck them down with my lightning, but they were incredibly evasive. Hold still! I took down the final monster, thinking the battle was won until a giant monster revealed itself. Prepare to die, as guardian. <laughs> This creature was much stronger than his smaller counterparts, but I was the god of thunder. I took him down with my powerful lightning and evaded his own aerial attacks. Once defeated, the monster dropped a ton of gold blocks. Wow, this is perfect for new Asgard. I took out my pickaxe and freed Groot from his prison. I am Groot. No problem, you must be Groot. I am Groot. I have seen your friends. That's why I'm here actually. You ready to see them? I am Groot. Awesome, let's go. We then headed back to the base where he was reunited with his friends Star-Lord and Rocket. While they were catching up, I chose to start building another house for Groot to stay in. I started by getting some shears and taking the leaves off of an oak tree. I then got to building. I went with the tree look and love how it turned out. Once finished, Rocket came up to me super excited. Hey, I wanted to thank you for saving my friend. I made another armor upgrade for you to show my gratitude. Here, try it on. Wow, thanks Rocket. This is gonna help a ton. On days 50 through 53, I continued to look for more Asgardians in need of shelter. I found a small group, which I happily directed back to my base with a map. Is there food? The finest in all the lands. Are pets allowed? If they don't eat people, then yes. They thanked me and I took to the sky once again in search of anyone else who was nearby. During my travels, I spotted a village and decided to see if they knew anything about the whereabouts of my people. Excuse me, sir, have you seen any- Achoo! I accidentally zapped the group with lightning, splitting them into a group of witches and lethal villagers. Oops, sorry. <laughs> a little thunder boy, perfect for my potions. Move in, boys. The witches and lethal villagers started to attack. They threw different potion bottles at me and fired their weapons. I could easily overpower them, but I didn't want to hurt them. Ah, please stop. I pleaded with them, but the onslaught continued. I had no choice but to fight back. If I didn't, they would hurt the innocent villagers. I was much more powerful than them, taking down each of them with relative ease. Okay, I feel super bad about that. Don't accidentally throw your hammer at villagers. Noted. I returned to New Asgard and saw the Asgardians I had recruited arrive safely. To get my mind off the witch village, I decided to expand the city some more with new structures for them to live in. Thank you. All in a day's work, citizen. On days 54 through 57, I left my house to find another Thor talking to my friends. What the heck? Who are you? Whoa, imposter. What? No, you're the imposter, imposter. All right, this is getting real sussy. Two Thors, which is the real one? Rocket decided to hold an interrogation to decide which one of us was the real Thor. Each of us guardians will ask a question only the real Thor would know. Well, you start. Okay, what is my favorite cereal? Huh? How would I know that? Captain Crunch. Correct. That's one point for Thor number one. Captain what? Quiet, Thor number two. We're asking the questions around here. I am Groot. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, what did the tree say? I am Groot. I understood you, Groot. I took your language as an elective course on Asgard. Dang. Just then, the second Thor transformed into Loki and took off running. Goodbye. Come back here. On days 58 through 61, I chased Loki through a number of biomes, but even a god would have to slow down eventually. When I caught up, he immediately began to attack me. I had no choice but to fight back. I used Mjolnir to strike him from afar then try to come in close, but the minute I did, he teleported away from me. Where'd you learn how to do that? I've learned a lot since we've last spoken. All of a sudden, he created multiple clones of himself, which all swarmed onto me at once. They might have been copies, but they all felt just like the real one. Ah! I knew I wouldn't get anywhere fighting an army, so I took the skies and shot down lightning from above. I managed to take out each and every clone, leaving only the real Loki remaining. Oh, brother. You've got me. 
Why did you flee from me? That is after us both. Don't you get it? Might as well have some fun while it lasts. Now isn't the time for fun. When will you learn that? Before I could say another word, he <laughs> vanished before my eyes. Ugh, that slippery snake. On day 62 through 66, I walked out my door to find all the guardians waiting for me. Hey, we got a lead on the whereabouts of one of our teammates, Drax. We're gonna go look for him. You wanna come? Nah, I'm good here. The guardians left, leaving me some time for myself. Everything was going great until suddenly a horde of Hellas minions attacked. You may have taken my old home, but not my new one. I flew into the fray, clutching Mjolnir tight as I summoned lightning from the heavens. I shot down the foes one by one and landed to get in some close combat as well. They were tough, but no match for the power of a god. Unfortunately for me, they had me up in numbers. More and more kept coming. When will this end? Just then, Hela appeared from the crowd. I finally found little Thor Odinson. I will crush you for what you have done to our people! Why, I'm only showing them the same hospitality I received. I'm tired of being imprisoned. I'm taking this wretched city back. She began to attack me with a flurry of thorns and powerful attacks with her fists. Not only was she powerful, but she was fast and similar to Loki could teleport. I used all the power I had to try to take her down, but my attacks were completely ineffective. I couldn't fight anymore and waited for her to make the final blow that would end it all. Ugh, why don't you just kill me now? Watching you struggle is half the fun. <laughs> Hela left with the remainder of her minions, leaving me defeated in New Asgard. Mjolnir isn't enough. I have to find more ways to train. On days 67 through 71, the Guardians returned from their mission with one of their friends at their side. Whoa, you look awful. What happened? It's a long story. Who's this? I'm Drax. Maybe there's something I can help you with. I explained the situation with Hela and how I was no match for her power. Actually, I have some information on the location of a rare artifact. It's said to possess a lot of power if you can get your hands on it. Take this map and you'll see what I mean. Thanks. I'll start preparing for the journey. I started by expanding New Asgard more and prettying it up so it would be in good shape while I was away. I replaced the cobblestone with quartz and added plenty of gold accents to call back to our Asgardian roots. It took a lot of work, but once it was complete, New Asgard had an entirely different feel. Even better than before. With my expansion completed, I went mining and found even more diamond I could use for upgrades. I crafted it into some new armor and set off towards the location on the map. Let's do this! On day 72 through 75, I followed the map Drax gave me until I finally arrived at a battle arena. This isn't a dungeon. I investigated it further to find that the arena was full of people with warriors battling at the center. Welcome to the contest of champions. Battle it out, climb the ranks, and win the rare and valuable Stormbringer prize. Whoa, that must be the artifact. I need that. I signed up without another thought and was put directly into my first match. The other competition were pushovers, so I knocked it out of the water. Fight after fight I won, even throwing Mjolnir to one of my opponents. Why haven't I been doing this sooner? Finally, I made it to the championship match. Who can stand up to a god? For the final match, Thor, Lord of Thunder, will be facing none other than the Hulk. Just then, the Hulk burst into the wall and the audience went wild. Uh -oh. The championship match commenced, but the Hulk didn't earn his title for nothing. He slammed his fists into the earth, which sent shockwaves everywhere. Every direct hit also gave me gamma radiation poisoning. It was no question that he surpassed me in strength, but I did one-up him in something. Speed! I threw Mjolnir at him from afar, and even took to the skies to shoot lightning at him. You can't hit what you can't catch. Hulk smash! I continued hitting him down with Mjolnir whenever I could get an opening. After a lot of back and forth, I finally took down the Green Giant. And the winner is... Thor. Yes, I did it! I was awarded Stormbringer for my efforts and left the stadium with the audience roaring behind me. On day 76 through 79, I was flying home with my new prize and went to test it out on some mobs. It was incredibly powerful, which knocked down all the mobs with ease. Ha <laughs> ha! Another step closer to victory. When I finally arrived in New Asgard, I found Loki waiting for me outside my home. I heard about your battle with Hela, and I want to help. Got my hands on a recipe that could amplify your powers immensely. I just 
need you to get a few things. What's the catch? There isn't one. Why do you always think that I have bad intentions? Because you always do. But I don't have much of a choice. I agree. Loki handed me his grocery list, and I headed off in search of the ingredients. The first thing on the list were poppies, which I found easily in a plane's bio. Easy. Second was some honey. I found a tree that housed a beehive nearby. I retrieved a bucket of honey with almost any hiccups. Ah! The final ingredient on the list was the power stone. What? How am I supposed to find that? I was about to give up when I noticed there was another page on Loki's note. I turned it and read what it said. P.S. The power stone is guarded by a beast on the peak of a mountain. Love, Loki. Well, I guess I know where I'm headed next. On days 80 through 83, I pinpointed the location of the power stone and landed at the peak of a mountain. There, a monster waited for me inside its lair. Here goes nothing. I charged into battle, trying to get the one up on the beast, but it was more powerful than anything else I had faced before. Each of his punches would send me flying back and it had the power to manifest gems from the ground. I did my best to evade its attacks and land some of my own. I used my ability to throw Mjolnir to hit him from afar, then took to the sky when he got too close. After a furious fight, the Guardian finally fell. Don't mess with a god! It dropped the Power Stone, which I picked up as the final ingredient. I returned to Loki with all the new loot and handed it over to him for the potion. Excellent work, brother. Now I can get to work. I waited for a little while until finally Loki returned with a potion which he tossed over to me. Bottoms up! I drank down the mysterious potion, feeling my body change almost instantly. I had finally reached my most powerful form. Fat Thor? Why do I suddenly want to play Fortnite? <laughs> Loki! <laughs> okay, okay. It's the real one. He gave me another potion, which I drank and transformed into my true final form. I now had 50 hearts and unimaginable strength. Now this is more like it. Thank you, brother. On days 84 through 87, I wanted to spiff up New Asgard more to make it feel more like a unified city. Time for some good old-fashioned building. I started by adding more buildings to the town, beefing up the neighborhood, as well as some more residential areas for the Asgardians to enjoy. This included a community center and a central plaza for everyone to hang out in. Lastly, I added lampposts to light the new pass, as well as some benches for people to sit on. This completed the renovations I had in mind, making the city more lively than ever. This is great, but I'm gonna need a front line to protect New Asgard. That Nick guy said to call, but with what? <gasps> Nick! Suddenly, Nick Fury walked up to me. You called. My offer still stands if you're up for it. Yeah, I'll join your team, but I need you to help me take out Hela. Shield has your back. I built a small shield HQ for the agents to stay in while they were here to help. I made sure to add in a map room as well in the event of an attack. I finished constructing the HQ, officially completing New Asgard in all of its glory. You'd be proud of this, father. Our people will live on. On days 88 through 90, I saw Loki hanging out by himself, so I decided to go up and talk to him. Hello, brother. I was curious as to why you came back. What happened to Loki land? There was a teeny, tiny problem. <laughs> The humanity! Apparently, a Loki from an alternate timeline wanted to dominate the place. Then let's take it back together. We both left New Asgard. After some traveling, we made it to Loki land. He wasn't kidding. The entire place was infested with gators. We both started battling it out with the scaly beasts. They were technically all Lokis, so they were pretty tough. Die, foul beast! With a lot of persistence, we managed to take down all the evil alligators. Finally! Loki land is ours once again! Great. Let's go home, shall we? What? Don't you want to stay? No. I've grown bored of this place. On days 91 through 93, I plan to do some recon on Hela. Huh. I'm too muscular and handsome. How am I supposed to stay discreet? Just then, Loki walked up to me. I've got you, brother. He then threw a potion, turning me into a snake. Aw, oh, heck yeah! I love snakes! Now in my new form, I headed off. I traveled for a while, eventually finding a Hela outpost full of guards. Wait a sec. Is that snake eavesdropping on our conversation? Are you insane? That's a snake. It's, uh, being a snake. Man, I just want to have my lunch break. No can do, pal. We gotta stay here. The invasion of New Asgard is only in a matter of weeks. They're going to attack New Asgard? With that information, I headed back to New Asgard. Once I was back, Loki turned me back into a human. A battle is on the horizon, but I am gonna be victorious. On days 94 through 96, Star-Lord came up to me with a request. Hey, Thor. I wanted to know if you could help us look for the final member of our team. Her name's Gamora, and we can't find her anywhere. Sure thing. What's she look like? She's green. Can't miss her. I'll look around. 
I took this guy in search of the last member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. It wasn't long until I found her, but when I did, she was talking to the Mad Titan Thanos. Where is the Power Stone, daughter? I don't know. Even if I did, I'd never tell you. Daughter? Why would I help you wipe out half the universe anyway? That's insane. The hardest choices require the strongest wills, daughter. The universe requires correction. And if you won't help me, you're only standing in my way. Just like that, they started fighting each other. I had no choice but to step in and help. Who is this? A friend of yours? He's helping me stop you. And that's all that matters. The purple monster was definitely a challenging foe. He wielded a giant blade, one that could do tons of damage. Luckily, Gamora was a skilled fighter. They both took turns striking Thanos, weakening him. After a lot of hits back and forth, I managed to get a good hit on him, ending the fight. Gah! How are you so powerful? Eh, it was probably the Power Stone smoothie I drank earlier. Super delicious. You did what? You fool! I needed that stone! Sorry, dude. It was the only way to make me stronger. Ugh. We will finish this fight another day, Asgardian. Someday soon. Thanos teleported away, leaving just Gamora and I to talk. Thanks for the help. I don't think I could have stopped him by myself. No problem. Glad I could help. You want to tell me who you are and why you helped me? Oh, right. The name's Thor, God of Thunder. The Guardian sent me to find you. Star-Lord is here? Where are they? I'll take you to them. Follow me. On days 97 through 98, I returned to New Asgard and reunited Gamora with the rest of the Guardians. Finally, the entire team was together again. You actually kept your end of the bargain, so I'll keep mine. The Guardians of the Galaxy are here to help. Thank you. I know you will all be powerful warriors. I knew that Hell's Invasion was on the horizon and preparations needed to be made, so I checked in with Nick Fury to see the status of his men. We're ready when the time is right. Very good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. After that, I returned home to find Loki inside. Hello, brother. Are you ready for battle? Of course, I'm just a little worried. Why would the God of Mischief ever be worried? She could arrive at any moment. Not even Asgard's greatest warriors could stop her. Even so, she doesn't stand a chance. Cause she's up against the two sons of Odin. You're right. If you've got my back, then I have yours. On day 99, I heard the sound of footsteps approaching New Asgard in the distance. Hella was getting close. This must be the invasion. Everyone get into position. Everyone stood ready as the enemy army revealed themselves over the horizon, led by none other than Hella herself. Ah, uh, so you prepared my entrance. That's a bit annoying. You will not succeed in taking New Asgard, sister. I took down a kingdom. This little town would be a breeze. Both our armies charged forward in the battle that would decide the fate of Asgard. My men were strong, but her own warriors had improved their skills since the last attack. The two sides faced off with each other viciously. The sounds of clashing weapons and gunfire filled New Asgard. My men were very resourceful and used their knowledge of New Asgard's landscape to their advantage. Push him in! Push him in! Ah! Thanks to the help of my friends, I was able to set my sights on Hela. It was finally a fair fight. Just the two of us. For my father! Hela threw her thorns at me from a far just as before, but this time they were slower and more powerful. She also quickly teleported to evade my attacks. However, I was now far more capable for the battle. Thanks to the power from Loki's potion, my attacks did incredible damage. Ugh. You're a real pain, you know that? She started to teleport in small spurts away from the battle in an attempt to flee, but I wasn't going to let her get away that easily. My men stayed and held her army off while I pursued her. On day 100, I followed Hela back to old Asgard where I noticed it looked weirdly different. This place has seen better days. Hela waited on the opposite side of the bridge, ready for battle. This is it, little brother. You versus me. We don't have to do this, sister. Lay down your weapon and fight for our people. It's too late for that. My people outcast me long ago. They thought I should be feared, so I'll give them something to be scared of. Then you leave me with no choice. Let's tango. We charge into battle, matching each other's strength and speed with devastating blows. I threw Mjolnir as hard as I could, trying to disorient her, but this proved to be useless. She was basically invulnerable. Still, I trudged on. Her skills were impressive. This is useless, brother. Lay down your arms and join my army. 
Just then, Hella took to the skies. I followed close behind, using Mjolnir as a means to close the gap. We then landed on a nearby roof and continued the battle. You've ruined enough Asgardian lives, Hella. It's time for this to end. I won't stop until my last breath. Hella continued to throw her blades at me, dealing massive damage. I saw I was beginning to lose this battle, so I retreated back to the Rainbow Bridge to even the playing field. I feared my end would be soon, but luckily, Loki arrived. I've got your back, brother. Excellent! Let's do this together! Loki and I began to duke it out with our sister. With his help, the tide of battle began to turn in our favor. We hit her back and forth, her disorientation increasing by the second. Two versus one. How pitiful. No matter. I'll destroy you both. Uh, who said anything about two versus one? Just then, Loki cloned himself, each of them charging into battle. They overpowered her, almost immediately hitting her off the rainbow bridge. I jumped down to join Loki and his clones. She was outnumbered and quickly losing. She tried to run away from our small army, but I quickly pursued her on foot. With anger in my heart, I sent multiple bolts of lightning onto her, killing Hela and ending this war. We did it! We did it! Just like that, Asgard and my people were saved from the clutches of Hela.